And this is one of those moments where you just kind of like question your sanity and ask yourself like, what am I even doing right now? Fly fishing, Joe. That's what you're doing. You're fly fishing. On this episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing, I spend time fishing a spring-fed river where the air temperature never gets above freezing. It's tough fishing and tough going because you may hook one and lose it. Got one. Ah. You may hook another one and lose it. Got one. Oh. Ah. You may even hook a third one and lose it. That one's a big one. No! And then have the big one break you off and get away. Oh. <gasps> that guy was massive. Or have a fish flop right out of your hands. Oh. There he goes. Or maybe your flag gear will malfunction. And then your camera gear will cut off because it's too cold. Got another one. If you are brave enough to face the elements and repeatedly clean the ice off your line and out of your guides, got clear the ice off the old rod, eh? You may have a great day of fishing like I did, but don't forget to bring your wading staff. Use your stick, even if it's wet. Make your hands cold. Use your stick. Because falling in would absolutely not be a good time. Bundle up with me for this incredibly cold day of fishing. Ah, another nice one. Come on, Joe. Just like, don't mess around this time. But like, they're death rolling. Oh man, come on. Come on, don't mess around. Yes! <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Yes! Oh. All right, oh, I gotta get my hands cold. I know, I gotta let you back. Look at that guy. Another one on the midge. Uh. One out, tree. Tree, tree, tree. Ah, oh, got him. Got him. Look at that guy. All right. Let's two hand him for size comparison. He is a stalker, but. To hook three and catch two out of a single hole is a little ridiculous. Come on, buddy. Come on. There he goes. Go on. Got one. Ooh, guy. Possibly a stacker. Uh, 
Uh, well, I am four for four. Oh no. Not a stacker, still a wild boat, but boom. Got one. Ah, watch the trees, Joe. Ooh. Ah, uh, he's death rolling. All right, guys. There he is. Boom. Watch the trees, watch the trees, watch the trees. Okay. Watch the trees. Boom. Yes. Oh. Well, my hands in this freezing cold water. This guy is a stalker. That's okay. We'll show him some love. Oh, and we'll let him go. Got one. Another little guy. Come on. Come here, so I can let you go. Ah. Nice. Cool. Wild rainbow. Got one. Pretty guy. Boom. Got one. Huh? Came off. Little guy. Got another one. Another little guy. Maybe the same little guy. Who really knows? All right. Nice. Bald rainbow. Got a little messed up gill, but ah, that might heal.
Ho! Oh. <laughs> I got stuck and he grabbed the fly and he unstuck me. What's with all you guys death rolling, right? I might lose him because the midge is stuck on him somewhere, but there he is. I didn't lose him. Boom. Well guys, because it slowed down, as you can tell by the video, because I to all the fish I catch in chronological order. Uh, yeah, things have slowed a little bit, quite a bit. And so I decided since that big trout that broke me off has been in my mind since, well, I hooked them, I decided to come back to that hole. Also, I wanna say, outside of this morning, I haven't seen another soul here. It's really unfortunate because I've had a really nice day of fishing. Don't be a fair weather fly fisherman. Little guy. Ooh, rainbow. Well guys, that's the episode. Uh, I've been working on the trailer for my two-man cataract and all that kind of fun stuff to make it easier to get it in the water and get it out of the water. Been tying a bunch of smallie flies, all that kind of good stuff. I'll have a giveaway for smallie flies similar to what I did with the purple episode last year. So stay tuned for that and subscribe for that coming forward. Um, after this video, I decided that I was going to retire my Cortland Competition 10 foot four weight nymphing rod. And uh, I picked up a new rod and I've already used it. So stay tuned to find out what kind of rod I picked up. Uh, subscribe if you want to, like the video if you want to, comment if you want to, share it if you want to. It's all optional. What's not optional is I want everyone to take care of themselves, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.